volume flow rate. The symbol for volume flow rate is Q with a small little V, and the V is just volume of water. So you just watched two videos. One of them was on hydroforming. So hydroforming is when we use water under high pressure and it actually pushes and shapes metals to form components for cars and other technologies. So what I want to talk about is, well, how hard is that water pushing to form these things? And that's called the volume flow rate, the QV. So it's the volume of fluid that flows in a given time interval. The flow rate is measured in either meters cubed per second or liters per second or liters per minute. So you kind of have to look at your given information, what the units are. We're going to just use that for our flow rate. The formula for flow rate is volume divided by time, or we can say area times speed. So capital V is the volume. divided by time. We know A is area. And the little kind of curly V is actually the speed. So there's two formulas here. We can either do volume divided by time or we could say area times the speed. And our first example says the volume flow rate needed to cut metal component is 3.3 liters per minute. So volume flow rate is Q for a little subscript V, and that's 3.3 liters per minute. And we have to pay attention to our units. Because it's per minute, when we find our uh, time, it needs to be in minutes as well. So right now it says the time interval required is 18 seconds, but we need to change that to minutes. To change it to minutes, we simply divided by 60, and we get 0.3 minutes. And it says calculate the total volume of water. So we're looking for V. Well, our formula is QV is equal to the volume divided by the time. If you want volume all by itself, you have to move the T over by multiplying it. So times T, times T, T's cancel out, and we're left with V is equal to the flow rate times the time. So we plug those numbers in, 3.3 times 0.3, and that gives us 0 0.99 liters. And our second example says calculate the speed of water in the pipe of radius 0.21 millimeters if the volume flow rate of the water is 6 times 10, negative 6 meters cubed per second. So I'm looking for the speed of the water. So I draw more of a, a cursive V so I can tell the difference between volume and speed. The radius is 0.21, but that's a problem because it's in millimeters. What I want it in is meters because I have meters over here for my flow rate. So all I have to do is divide by 1,000 because there's 1,000 millimeters in a meter. And I end up with 0.000021. The formula I'm going to be using is QV is equal to A times the speed. I need the area. If I have the radius, I can figure out the area. So if I think about a pipe, a pipe is just a circle. So I want the formula for area of a circle, which is pi r squared. And then I just plug in my numbers. So 3.14 times the radius, which is 0.12. Three, four zeros to one squared, and I end up with 1.38 times 10 to the negative 7 meters squared. So now I have my area. So when I go back to my formula, I want to rearrange this for speed. Okay, I can't forget I also have my flow rate, so that's my QV is 6 times 10 to the negative 6 meters cubed per second. All right, now I'm going to get speed all by itself. To get speed all up by itself, I have to divide both sides by A. A's cancel out. I'm left with the speed is equal to QV over A. QV is 6 times 10 to the negative 6. The area was 1.38 times 10, negative 7, 
And when I put that into my calculator, I end up with 43 meters per second.